many reasons to examine why it's all right here in Laguna Beach, as this film celebrates 50 years of preservation efforts and some of the startling achievements of the Laguna Greenbelt. From its origins in 1968, when Jim Dilley offered his vision of a Laguna Greenbelt and convinced us that it was possible. Yeah, I, I think that Jim's, uh, Jim's uh, claim to fame was that he knew how to talk with people and how to meet them where they are and uh, to... One of our citizens who drives home every day on the Lagoon Canyon Road. Well, I've got to admit to a sense of coming home whenever I enter Laguna Canyon. Let's hear about the wild and legal 80s and 90s that Laguna Greenbelt was facing. Laguna Beach is a very unusual town. It has more than 200 nonprofits, but the environmental organizations are truly amazing. The granddaddy of them all is Laguna Greenbelt, Inc. Jim Dilley, bookstore owner in Laguna, formed that group. After that, we had this video portion of our first 50 years is like a time capsule that has shown you the early years, the stressful beginning issues, and those who made it happen. The next portion will be available in the coming weeks, accessible from our website. Here are a couple of teasers so you know what's coming. Eventually, we wound up, the Greenbelt wound up suing um, Laguna Laurel. What was going on? She said, you've dropped all these other lawsuits, but you haven't dropped ours. <laughs> Not going to either. No, they didn't get it. They, they got it finally after the walk. This is something people don't really know. They pay for Lawrence Halperin. Lawrence Halperin, who designed the FDR, FDR Memorial. It's a lot of you know, having office buildings and things in the first round. And I, I said, why doesn't somebody put Burma Shave signs in the canyon? <laughs> <laughs> now this is when Phantom of the Opera was a big, just new and a big deal, so. Hi, this is Jose Feliciano speaking on behalf of Bette Midler, Robert England, Mike Farrell, Julie Harris, and John Denver. What happened later uh, with the toll road? I understand uh, you had some interest in that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Yeah, I had some interest. Uh, uh, you had these titans of the development industry. At one point, the Irvine Company and you had the Aliso Viejo Company that was owned by Philip Morris. Deer went to uh, Aliso Canyon. There were like a hundred or so deer in Aliso Canyon during the fire because it didn't burn. The South Coast Wilderness is full of remarkable geology, phenomenal public trails, and amazing and unique species, such as the Laguna Beach Dudleya, which only exists here.